What up, it's NWP, and as you guys know from my last video, Nuketown is coming out tomorrow, and that's gonna be just amazing, you know what I mean? But they released a trailer, and we're gonna take a look at it after this nonsense. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And if you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, as I always keep saying, I'm running a giveaway for $50 in your favorite gaming currency, be it Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. Check the link in the description if you want to. You don't, you don't have to, obviously. Um, but yeah, okay, so, Nuketown. Big news. We've known for a while it was going to be released in November. Um, we knew it was going to be a free release and we knew, you know, we, we've known a lot about this, like in terms of like it happening, but we don't know anything beyond that. And I had already even mentioned it before. What Nuketown were we going to get? Are we going to get a classic Nuketown? Are we going to get like, you know, Nuketown from Black Ops 3 or are we going to get something new completely? Well, they have kind of answered the question by releasing a trailer today for tomorrow. Which is, you know, pretty typical for today's day and age. But I figured we'll take a look at the trailer, we'll talk about it, and uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's check out the trailer. Alright, so we're going with a Cold War theme here, obviously. It's that, you know, typical... Uh, I guess as we're going back in time, in a sense, with the Black Ops franchise and the story here. All right, okay okay so it's like log cabin-esque that's different there's trains in the middle instead of uh buses and or uh trucks it's pretty cool all right so it's still the same map in a sense but it's got some like russianness to it i'd say that side is more like black ops 3 nuketown like on b dom uh yeah 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 it's definitely some new look to it and that's obviously like you know some area that we've never seen before there but uh yeah <clears throat> pretty typical here yeah. pretty typical black you know, black car instead of blue car was that red car goes i don't even remember oh wait a minute Did the center just open up for the missile to launch what oh what in the hell see now this isn't even the nuke town from the, from blackout this is completely new so uh yeah that's it's that's that's interesting so I'll probably uh enjoy this this is gonna be fun it kind of reminds me of the berlin map from black ops one you guys remember what i'm talking about so anyways we're back to the to the uh rocket launcher and kn gameplay here that i had just stashed away but yeah that that's pretty cool looking um I, like I, I mean, I guess I understand why they went with like a Cold War theme, you know. Like we haven't, we haven't been back in the Cold War since like Black Ops One when we were in like what Nam. During that, that's when the era was Vietnam. Uh, wow, I am tired this morning, guys. I'll tell you what. But uh, yeah, that looks really cool. I don't know. What do you guys think about the trailer and the maps? Do you think that the, the Nuketown needs to be updated like that? Or do you think that it would be cool if they released all of the Nuketowns? Cause I personally think, in my opinion, that one looks cool. But I would still like to see all the different variants of Nuketown. Especially considering we got the night version of maps you know like i think it was a, what one or two maybe even more because i didn't i stopped playing black ops 3 but they started adding the night variants of maps so why not add other variants of the maps like i mean there's the futuristic there's the original there's now a cold war there's that blown up you know blackout version of nuketown so like we're talking about a historic map here with so many different variants of it that it, i think it would be really cool if they did remastered versions of the map uh multiple times especially if they're gonna have a nuketown playlist that would literally make a nuketown playlist amazing now obviously obviously having the old maps <laughs> looking like old maps would be awful and i wouldn't want to do that myself but like let's be serious man this this looks pretty legit here like nuketown looks pretty cool um yeah man i don't know man that's 
That's really interesting to me how how this is like gonna be like an entirely different, you know, kind of proposition, and that they added some newer like little areas and like the the center opening. How does that even work out? Like there's buses and trains in the middle. Like how did that? What in the world is going? Now I just just made myself have more questions about this than I have answers for myself. And that, my friends, is serious. But uh, I'm going to cut the commentary short here. You can watch the rest of the video and enjoy the gameplay as I try to unlock the golden rocket launcher here. I don't think I did it in this gameplay, but I think I had a lot of fun blowing people up in this gameplay with the rocket launcher. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you all in Nuketown tomorrow. As always, have a good one. Him. Crash requesting UAV. UAV is Losing feet. Tango down. You're in Charlie. She's done. Another satisfied customer. Good job. 